Make sure you get a grown up to help you hit subscribe. That way, you won't miss out on any of the new videos that come out. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. Hey kids, Ozzy here. Today we've come down to the beach and we're going to learn all about how to surf. But because Ozzy doesn't really know how to surf, I brought a friend so she can teach me. But it's not just anyone. I thought, if I'm going to learn how to surf, I may as well learn from one of the best in the world, as in the whole world. She's been ranked as high as number one in the world and I'm pretty proud to say she's a fellow Aussie. Kids, I'd like to introduce you to Ozzy's new friend, Sally Fitzgibbons. Hey Ozzy, it's an honour to be here to help. So stoked to have you on board and thanks so much for coming along to teach Ozzy how to surf. So I've also brought along two little friends, two little grommies to help me learn how to surf today. Over here we have Lani. Hi Ozzy, hi Sally. Hi Lani. And we have Channing. Hi Ozzy, hi Sally. Yeah Channing. Thanks for coming kids. It's always more fun to learn new things with mates and especially when you're learning to surf because it's good to look out for each other and keep each other safe when you're out there in the waves. So kids, Sal's going to teach me and you all the basics of surfing and what we need to get out there in the waves. So Sal, I brought my board. Is there anything else I need? That's a good start, Ozzy, but you're missing something. What's that? Your wetsuit. Oh, I better grab my wetsuit. What do you reckon, Sal? What do you think, Ozzy? I like your hat. We're ready to rock and roll. All right, so let's get stuck in. Talk to me about the board you've got there. Equipment. So, this is my performance board, Ozzy. It's a very nice looking board, Sal. Why don't you take us for a tour through the different parts? I'd love to. So the basics, we've got the nose of the board, we have the top or the deck, we have the rails of the board, and they run all the way down, and then this is our tail right here. And then we need to be able to stick to the board, right? So we have our grip pad. This one right here is our grip pad. And this is the wax. Cool, so that's what we put our feet onto and that helps us stop slipping off, is that right? That's correct. And you'll move your feet all the way up and down the board um, on any given occasion. Very cool. And what's on the other side of the board? There we go. This is the bottom of the deck and suddenly it has little scoops in it and then we have our fins. They're pretty cool. And did you choose them because they're pink? <laughs> I did design these ones and yeah, the, the Sally Fitzgibbons model, I think they do go faster because they're they're hot pink. Very good. So I've got my surfboard. But it looks a little bit different to yours. It's a whole lot taller and a whole lot thicker. Can you tell me why? Different boards for different occasions. So we're going to be learning today, Ozzy, and this is the best board to learn on. It's called a long board, and we have a nice little carry strap. You have your leg rope, and then you too have your fins on the back. Very good. A bit of wax to stick to the board, and you're ready to go. OK, so a beginner can't learn on a surfboard like this. It's going to be very challenging on this board. You want the extra foam and that'll help you sit above the water and then you'll be able to paddle with ease and ride those waves. Super cool. Well, I'm pretty excited, so can we just hit the water now or...? Whoa, 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 whoa. we've got a few more things to learn. Oh, okay. Talk us through it. Okay, let's do it. We can practice right here on the beach. So we're going to put our boards on the sand. Okay. And then we're going to get comfy. We're going to lay down and we're going to practice how to paddle. On the board here. That's it, on the sand. On the sand. All so right, you've got to use your imagination. Your boards too. And then imagination is key. So we're actually out on the water now. We've teleported and we're going to learn to paddle. So we put one arm, stretch it out in front and one arm is back near our chest. And then we're going to switch and switch. And we're going to keep our head up and our chest up so we can keep an eye on the waves as they're coming towards us. And awesome. then that's just gonna go at different speeds. Can you paddle fast? That's it. You just move your arms faster. Can you paddle slow? And that's all there is to it. All right. So we know how to paddle. What else do we need to do? Or is this all I need to know to get out there and start surfing? Paddling is a big part of the game, Ozzy. So we're gonna be doing a lot of it. It's gonna be great for our fitness, but we wanna ride some waves, don't oh, we? Oh, absolutely. Who wants to ride some waves, kids? I know I do. So Sal, you've taught myself and the kids how to paddle. 
But can you show us how to stand up on one of these things so we can actually surf? Oh, this is the best part. So you got to imagine the wave coming and it's going to pick up speed. And for the first few waves, you might just be riding on your belly. And you slowly get used to it and then comes the pop-up. And that's the best part. You've got to be like as fast as a ninja. So you get like the speed and then it comes and then you press up and then you pop to your feet. And you stay really low and you bend the knees and then wherever your arms and your head's looking, that's where you're going to go. Sounds pretty cool to me. So let's break that down. So we're going to press up, then we're going to, like a ninja, like said Sal, pop up and we're going to bend at the knees. Exactly. Nod at our back. Yep. And whenever our eyes and our hands are looking and pointing, that's where we're going to go. And we can use these arms for stability as well. And then nice and outstretched. And then that's where we're going to go. We've got to remember, Aussie, the water is moving. So it's going to feel a little bit like this, you know, when we're learning. And you can practice this at home. Yeah. You can probably just practice this on the ground at home, right? You can. If Not necessarily in, on your surfboard. If you're in your lounge room, you can get a cardboard cutout or on your bed's a little bit unstable and you practice jumping up like a ninja. I like it. So let's just go through that again. Kids, are you ready? Yeah. So we're gonna push up and then we're gonna jump up straight into a two foot Tony, like a ninja. And we're gonna bend at the knees, not in the back, point the arm and the eyes, and that's where we're gonna go. That sound pretty good, Sal. And things that can help assist this process is definitely maybe you could be at home and Balance on one foot. Oh cool, that's a good trick. Can you balance on one foot? I can. And then you can balance on one foot with your eyes closed. Oh. And it gets a little trickier. It you does. can do all these things at home and you can do the classic. You can be at home kids and you can do your push-ups. <laughs> can you do some push-ups? <laughs> They're gonna help with your pop-up. Just like that. So great for a warm-up Aussie and great for developing their strength to be able to pop up lightning fast. Like a ninja. Are we ready to hit the water? We're just about to hit the water, Aussie, and while we're checking the conditions, seeing yep. where the safe place is, me and Lani are going to wax our boards. So you can show them how it's done, Lani. Just going to do circle motions. Channing, you want to do yours? And we just want to stick our feet to the board. So we do this before we go out in the waves. Of course. So Aussie, while we're checking the waves, we've got to finally just wax up our boards. Wax on. Do, do those wax on, wax off. <laughs> And uh, yeah, nice circle motions, just like Lani's doing. And then our feet will stick to our board. We'll be good to go. Okay, Sal, you've taught us how to paddle. You've taught us how to pop up and stand and what we need to do to stay straight on the wave. Now, can we please go out there and start surfing? We're nearly there, Aussie. One more thing. What else do we need to One know? One of the most important ones is our surf safety. Safety first, of course. So number one is definitely surfing with mum, dad, or a friend. Okay. and someone to watch you at all times. Right. And I think important to know where you enter the water and where they're standing, they're the landmark. So let's just make sure we don't get whipped up and down the beach or off out of sight. So okay. we're gonna try and stay right in front of them. So after waves, we're just looking in and making sure, yep, that's where I started. Cool, I like it. All right, so now with everything that we know, can we please get out in the water? We're gonna take you out there and it's gonna be a nice gentle day behind us. And that's what we're looking for when we're beginning. Just nice rolling waves that we can stand up and possibly about this big, so it's looking perfect. Cool. Kid, are you ready? Yeah. I know I'm ready. Are you guys ready? I hope so. Let's, Sal, let's go. Let's go surfing. Let's go surfing. Yahoo!
so much fun, Sal. Thank you so much for taking your cruising. You know about surfing. Kids, did you enjoy that? Yeah. Yeah, I certainly did. We can pretty much call ourselves surfers now. Probably got lots of practice, but we know all the things we need to do to surf. I hope it's inspired you at home to grab a surfboard, get out there, keep trying until you reach your full potential. You can see how much fun it is out in the ocean. I think we're going to get out and surf some more waves. We'll see you on the next video, Aussie. Until then, stay keen. Happy surfing! Yeah. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine G'day kids, Ozzy here. Today we're going to talk about a really cool sport, one of my personal favourites, and that's Ozzy Rules, or AFL. But first, we're going to talk about the different skills and rules that you need to know to play footy. Then we're going to go down the park and even have a kick together. And then, once we're all a bit tired, why don't we sit back and enjoy a good book about AFL. So come on, let's get stuck into it. Now Aussie Rules is played mostly in Australia by boys and girls and men and women of all different ages. And it's played with a ball like this. It's a bit of a funny shape. Do you know what shape that is? That's right, it's an oval shape. Good job kids. Now it's played outside on a field like that. Do you know what shape that is? That's right, that's an oval too. Good job, kids. Now in AFL, we're not allowed to throw the ball like we are in other sports. We have to do what's called a hand pass or a handball. That's when you take the ball, put it on your hand like that, you take your fist like that, and you hit the ball off your hand through the air to your friend. Or you can do what's called a kick. And if you catch a kick, it's called a mark. And if you take a mark in AFL, you get a free kick. And if you're standing in front of these things, that's the goals, and you kick it through the middle posts, that's six points. That's five, six points. But if you miss and you kick it either side of the big posts, you get one point. You still get a point. How cool is that? Now the professional AFL teams in the men and women's play with 18 players on each team. That's 10 plus 8. 18 from each team. That's a lot of players on the field at once, isn't it? Now some of the most popular players in AFL are Taylor Harris, Daisy Pearce, Buddy Franklin, Gary Ablett Jr. and my personal favourite, Nick Natanui. He plays for the mighty West Coast Eagles. Go the Eagles! Now when you're just starting to play AFL as a little boy or girl, you play Auskick, and that's from when you're four right through to when you're eight. And you play with a ball like this, which is a little bit smaller than the big ones that the big men and women play with. But we all wear boots because they have protective leather on the top and studs on the bottom so you don't slip over on the grass. Now the best thing about learning to play AFL is getting down to the park and having a kick with your mates and learning how to handball and trying to kick those goals. So who wants to come down the park and have a kick with Aussie? Come on kids, let's go! Aussie, 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 boy. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Aussie here. What a beautiful day. So we've come down to the local park. There's lots of other people enjoying themselves and enjoying the weather. We've brought our footy, and we're gonna learn those skills that it takes to play AFL. Who can remember the skills? That's right, there's handballing. What else would you need to do to play footy? Kicking, very good. And there's one more, third one that's really important. Marking, very good. So if I can just get a footy, handballing's first. So we're gonna take our hand, Put it like a pancake then put our football on top like a big dollop of ice cream then we're going to take our other hand like we're holding an ice cream cone and then we want to take our cone and smush it into the ice cream which is just hitting the ball on the end there just like this 
and that's how you handball, but you always gotta make sure you keep that thumb on the outside of the cone. If you put it inside there, ooh, ouch, no good. All right, the next one is kicking. Okay, so kicking, you can kick right foot or left foot, depending which one you feel more comfortable with. You wanna start with your hands on either side of the footy, just like that. We wanna lean over the footy, we wanna step forward with our opposite foot, and then drop the ball onto the kicking foot and swing through just like that. So that's the right foot. Left foot would be right foot forward. Drop it and swing through the left foot. Ozzy kicks with his right foot. So I'm gonna show you how that goes. Just like this. And that's how you kick the footy. And the third one was marking. That's right, in AFL, that's when you catch it, but we call it a mark. So if we just get that footy, all right. That's a mark, and you take it out in front like that. And that's what you learn when you're a little bit older. But when you're just learning and you're a little, little kid, we want to practice what's called a chest mark. That's when the, ball, when the ball comes in, and you go like that. You get your chest behind it, you hug it in really close, and give it a big bear hug so that it doesn't spill out the side. So that's the three basic skills of playing AFL. So who wants to come and have a bit of a kick to kick with Aussie? Let's go. Oh, nice kick, Ozzy! Oh, beauty, Ozzy! Okay, so what you want to do when the ball comes in, you want to make sure you give it a big bear hug. Here it comes. Here's the ball. Oh, yeah, big bear hug. No one's going to get that one. That's not going to spill out. Get your body behind it. And always keep your eyes on the ball. That way you won't drop it. Yes, Ozzy. Yes, Ozzy. Oh, all right. So we've taken a mark and we're right in front of goals. So does anyone remember the scoring in AFL? If we kick it through the middle post, how many points do you get? Six points, isn't it? And if you get it on either side of the big post, it's worth how many points? One point, that's right. So we wanna try and kick it through the middle and get six points, right? But remember, on game day, there's lots of other players and teammates on the field, so we wanna try and kick it through the goals on the full. So let's line up. We're gonna do the kick that we've been learning, which is the drop punt. So remember, head over the footy, take a few steps, kick through the ball, and that's a goal for Aussie at six points. But that was a bit easy, wasn't it? Because I'm standing right in front. What happens if we get the ball and we're like on either side? Let's go and see if we can kick a goal from the side. Come on. All right, so we've taken a mark or we've got a hand pass from one of our teammates. We're not quite in front of the goals, are we? So things are gonna be a little bit more difficult if we try and kick a normal kick. So let's try something a little different. We're gonna hold the ball on the ends like this, like on an angle. And we're gonna try and kick it on the end of the footy, which makes it spin over itself and goes sideways. Let's see if Ozzy can do it. That's a goal! It's another six points. Go, Ozzy! Oh, good kick! Yes, this is a good kick to kick. So kids, I hope you've had lots of fun down here at the park with Ozzy, learning how to kick, how to handball, and how to mark. Let's see if we can kick the final goal. And we'll see you again down here soon with Ozzy. Cheers kids. Yeah, it's a goal. Ozzy, 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 Ozzy. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Aussie, 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 boy. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Aussie here. Who loves to dance? That's great, you've come to the right place because today we're going to learn the basics of starting to dance. Then, 
we're going to join some kids and a dance teacher for a real dance lesson. And finally, we're going to sit down and read a book about dancing together. So let's get stuck in. There are so many different types of dancing all around the world, but today we're going to learn a pretty simple one, which we like to call funky fun dancing. And that's because it's pretty simple. There's no real structure and it's all about moving your body, feeling funky and having fun. So who can dance? Well, that's simple really. Anyone with a body and the right attitude can dance. And what do we need to dance? Well, you don't really need it, but it's definitely more fun if you've got some music. So we're gonna go and have a real dance lesson and some of the moves we're gonna learn are the yes head and the no head. And then there's one called the I don't know shoulders, which is like this. And there are lots of cool dance moves, but I think I'm gonna leave that to Steph because she's the real dance teacher. So come on, as you can see, I'm pretty keen. So let's get to the real dance lesson, start moving those bodies and having lots of fun. We'll see you soon. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. Today we've got a really exciting one. But because Ozzy doesn't really know much about this, I've brought along a professional to help me teach you how to dance. That's right, this person used to be a professional dancer. That's right, it was her job. How cool would that be? This person now runs a dance school called My Tiny Dancer, and I'd like you kids to meet my new friend, Steph. Hi Ozzy, so great to have you with us. Thanks for having me. Well, I haven't just brought myself along today. Who else do we have? I've actually brought some dancing friends with us. Oh, hi girls. Hi <laughs> Hi kids. Hi Hi kids. Hi Now what kind of dancing are we gonna learn today? that we could try something that we could probably even do just in our own living room. Oh, that sounds cool. Something fun and funky. Fun and funky. Ozzy thinks he's pretty fun and funky. Now, do I have everything I need to dance? Well, that's the thing about dance. It's not about what you wear. It's about how you move. All right. So, you look fantastic to me. Thank you. Got my dance shoes ready. So, should we put some music on and get right into it? You know what? That's exactly what you can do, but it might be worth learning couple of basic steps first. All right, show us how it's done. Okay, we ready girls? First thing we're gonna do is make sure we start with our feet right together. Feet together. Everyone show Ozzy what to do. Right, the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna jump our legs out into a wide position with bent legs. Here we go. Not bad, Ozzy. Right, from there we're gonna jump them back in again. Fabulous. Cool. Jump them out again and do a really big bend this time. You ready? Bend. That's it. Like now we're good. bouncing on our knees. Show us how, Aussie, how we bounce on our knees. Very good. Then when we do fun and funky dancing, we need to move our heads and our shoulders and our legs, sometimes all separately. Oh, wow. So we've got our knees going up and down, and then we've got our heads nodding at the same time. Well, wow, this is fun. Good job. After we've got our yes heads organised, we need to change it to go the other way to our no heads. No heads. So, I like it. side to side. Now, if you're not yes and you're not no, sometimes you're I don't know. So that's when we start using our shoulders, everybody. I don't know. Very good. Are you following at home, kids? I hope you're having fun. Now we've used our knees and we've used our heads and we've turned it one way and we've turned it the other way. We've used our shoulders. Now it's time to get our hips, hips involved. Hips Ready? involved. Let's get our hips involved. Fantastic, so we get our hips involved. See it, we move our hips, kids. Now our hips can go side to side, but they can also go round and round. Whoa. 
Whoa. Wow, that's Whoa. cool. Making sure we keep our knees bent. Very good. Then from round and round, we can point to our tummy button. And then we can shake our hips backwards. Shake, 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 shake. Ah, oh, good job. We got one other thing to learn, Ozzy. What's that, Steph? We're going to take a step and then we're going to do a clap and jump our feet together. That's okay. it. And to the other side. Take a step, everybody, and jump your feet together. Just like that, kids. So let's recap for Ozzy what we've just learned. Talk us okay? through it again, Steph. Ozzy, we need to jump our feet together to together. start. Together. Okay. Then we're going to bend our knees. And we're going to jump our legs out to a wider position. Yep. From there, we're going to jump them back in again. Jump them out again. Jump them in again. This time, we're going to do it with a really deep bend of our knees. You ready? Here we go. Now, this puts us in the position to get our heads going. Nodding our heads. That's right. Yes, please. Nodding our heads. That's the yes one. Then our no heads. No, no heads. Then our I don't know shoulders. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. I don't know. Then we're going to move on to our hips. And our hips go side to side. Side to side. Making sure you're keeping, your, keeping your knees nice and bent. Ozzy. Oh, yes. I'm oh, sorry. Bend your knees, kids. That's important. Then our hips are going to move round and round. Round Whoa. and round. Whoa. 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 From there, we're going to point to our tummy button and then we're going to shake our hips backwards. Shake, 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 shake. We're going to take a step and a clap. One step, jump together and a clap. Go to the other way. Step. So, are we ready for the music now? Now we're ready for the music. Are we ready for the music? Are we ready to do some dancing, girls? Yeah! Let's do it. You ready? Here we go. Jump out. Jump in. Jump out. Jump in. Now deep one. Here we go. Are you ready for your head? Not your head. Yes, please. Me too. 
That's cool. Like a side jump. Very good. Come yes. on. Okay, so we've got one more dancer that's joined us. He heard the music and he couldn't resist. We've got Joseph. Thanks for coming along because dancing is not just for girls, it's for boys as well, and it's for any age. Should we get stuck in? I think we should. Are you ready, everybody? No way, look at Joseph. Woo! Awesome! Yeah, Lacey, come show us your move, Lacey. Wow! Woo! Show us your favourite move. I like it, can I try it? You good? No way! What a cool little dancer. And Eleanor, what's your favourite move? Oh, I like this one. This is definitely one of my favourites too. Very good. Break dancing. Okay, everybody, let's get dancing. Out we go. And in. And out. And in. Now, big one. And get those yes hands going. Wow, that was so much fun, kids. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and I hope you've learned lots of new moves that you can do at home. Steph, thank you so much for having us here at Tiny Blue Tutu Town at My Tiny Dancer. Thank you very much, Ozzy. We've absolutely loved having you, and it was great getting out and being active. Yeah, so much fun. Kids, enjoy. Love the dance. We'll see you on our next video. And until then, stay keen. Stay keen. Do I get a sticker? Yes! Ozzy, 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 Ozzy,
G'day kids, Aussie here. Today, we're gonna to learn about a really cool sport called Rugby League, or as it's known here in Australia, NRL. First, we're gonna learn some of the basics. Then, we're gonna to go together down to the park and have a throw and a kick of the footy. And then once we're all tired, we're gonna sit back and enjoy a good book about Rugby League. So come on, let's get stuck into it. Now Rugby League is played with a ball like this. It's a bit of a funny shape with some pointy ends, but what kind of a shape does it look like to you? That's right, it's an oval. Good job, kids. Now rugby league is played outside on a field just like that. That's a rugby league field, but do you know what shape that is? That's right, it's a rectangle. Great job, kids. Now league is played by two teams who line up facing each other on the field, and the idea is to pass the ball like this to the other teammates in your team. Each team gets a chance to run the ball, passing it to each other, trying to get down to the other end to try and score what's called a try. And that's when you put the ball on the ground. And if you score a try, you get one, two, three, four points. So once you've scored a try, you get a chance to kick a conversion or a goal kick. And that's worth another two points. So that's four points for the try, two points for the goal, that's six points. How cool is that? Now rugby league is played all around the world, but it's super popular here in Australia, especially around state of origin time when the Queensland Maroons take on the mighty New South Wales Blues. Now a few of my favorite players of all time are Andrew Joey Johns and Freddie Fittler played for the mighty New South Wales Blues. But I guess there were some good Maroons players too. Wally Lewis, Cam Smith, and JT. Do you have any favorite players? Now rugby league is a super fun game to watch and play, but the best thing about learning to play league is getting down the park and throwing the footy around with your mates and practicing those kicks. So who wants to come down to the local field and have a kick with Aussie? Come on, let's go. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Aussie, 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 boy. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. So today we've come down to the local field and we're going to learn how to play and talk about the different skills you need to know to play footy, rugby league or NRL as it's called here in Australia. Now who can help Aussie remember the different skills you need to know to play footy? Passing, that's right, that's an important one. What else do you need to know? Catching, you need to know how to catch the ball, don't you? Another important one is tackling, of course. And that's one that we'll do more and more of as we get bigger and bigger through the different age groups. And a really important skill if you want to get past the players in the other team and get down to the other end and score a try, is learning how to step. All right, so if we can just get a footy, I'm gonna show you guys different types of passes. So there's two main types of passes and the first one you'll learn when you're just getting into rugby league is a six o'clock pass. And that's when you hold your hands on either side of the footy like that. A good little guide is to put your middle finger on the seams. That way you know you've got your hands even. So the idea is to step in the direction you want the footy to go and you look that direction and you Point your hands in that direction too, and that way the footy will go exactly where you want it to go. So I'll just do that one again, the six o'clock pass. Hold your hands even like that. Step and keep your eyes and your hands in the direction you want the footy to go. So the next pass is a spiral pass. Okay, and that's when you want the ball to fly further through the air by making it spiral. Okay, this is one you'll be using more as you get bigger and bigger, so you can get the ball to go really far to your teammate out on the wing. Okay, and you wanna hold the ball with your hands on the ends of the footy, on each side of the footy, just like that. And the idea is that when you pass it and you let the ball go, you flick your wrists and use your fingers to make it spin or spiral through the air. Let's try it. Okay, let's try that again, hey? Okay, you step, make sure you flick your wrists and your fingers and make the ball spiral through the air. Okay, the next skill is catching. 
Okay, if we can get that ball again. All right, so that's a catch. And you can catch it out in the front like that, or catch it close. Make sure you keep your chest behind it so it doesn't fall out the sides. The main thing to remember when you're catching the footy is to keep your eyes on the footy. Don't look away before the footy gets it to your hands, otherwise you might drop it. Let's go and do some passing and catching. Let's go. See it, watch the ball all the way into your hands, just like that. Oh, good pass, Aussie. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oh, good six o'clock pass. Nice spiral, Aussie. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. That's it. Oh, perfect spiral. A nice catch out in front from me. Great pass. Oh, great spiral. Okay, six o'clock pass. Yes, Aussie. Great pass. Okay. Third skill, and a really important one if you want to get past the players on the other team, is a sidestep. So that's when you run one direction, you plant your foot into the ground, and then you change directions and step the other way really quickly, and then run that direction. And when you get bigger, and you practice this more and more, you get to learn how to do it on your right foot, or your left foot. Yeah, a really good way to practice is to use some cones. Let's, let's see if Ozzy can do some stepping. Yeah! Okay, so does anyone remember how to score in footy? That's right, you've got to get it all the way down to the other end of the field, past the goalpost, and put the ball down over the line. So if you've got time, you can just place it down like that. But if you're a bit rushed and someone's coming to tackle you, you're gonna dive over the line. Make sure you have that ball tucked in under the arm so you don't, don't drop it. So you dive over the line. And how many points do we get for a try? Four points, awesome. Then. We get a chance to kick the goal for an extra two points. That's a conversion or a goal kick. Come with Aussie, let's see if we can kick some goals. Try time, Aussie! Four points. Okay, so we've just scored a try right under the post, which means we get a chance to kick a conversion or a goal kick right in front. We're gonna use usually a kicking tee or a cone in our case. I want to place the ball down like that. And the idea is to take a few steps back, make sure you're watching the ball, kick it at the bottom, straight through the post. Let's see if Ozzy can do it. Ozzy, yeah! Ozzy, Ozzy! Yo, beauty! So kids, I hope you had lots of fun today learning how to play footy with Aussie. I certainly had lots of fun learning different things like passing, catching, stepping, learning how to score a try, and of course, kicking a conversion. So make sure you keep practicing. Maybe one day you'll be able to play for the mighty Cronulla Sharks, Brisbane Broncos, or maybe even the Blues or the Maroons in the state of origin. Until then, stay keen. See you next time with Aussie. Cheers. Aussie, 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 Aussie! Aussie, is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. Don't forget to follow Aussie on our social channels at Aussie for Kids. Feel free to send us some ideas on what you want to learn about next. What sports you'd like to play, jobs you want Aussie to feature, vehicles you're fascinated with, or any subjects you'd like to know more about. I'm just as keen as you, so together, let's learn more. And if you've got any friends that you think might like Aussie, don't forget to tell them too. See you next time, kids. Until then, stay keen. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Aussie, 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 boy. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine.